Hello everyone and welcome to another episode. In this episode what we'll be doing is we'll be touching on Todoist for Android. Um, and if you don't know, last month Todoist uh, basically just did the entire redesign of their Android application. And this is just a breakdown of what it looks like, how it feels and how it works. Um, I'm going to be touching maybe on more shorter videos on how to do things on the go on the Todoist for Android. Um, but I'm filming on my iPhone today so uh, it's a new view you guys get. Uh, when it comes to uh, checking out phones. So let's get stuck in. Um, as you know, I'm a real fan of uh, Todoist and they've done a really good job um, with this update. Um, I think what the immediate thing you get, the immediate functionality you get straight away is the material design. And for those who don't know what material design is, it's basically the opportunity um, for the entire experience to be a bit more animated, more fluid, more card feeling, uh, more almost changing to your inputs. So that's one of the first things they've done. They've really worked on the material design functionality and it looks great. It looks fantastic. Um, and if you don't have this, I'd definitely download it on Android if you, uh, if you want that kind of experience. And, you know, not being mean to them previously, um, but the old update they did um, on Android was a bit, I felt a bit webby, um, a, a kind of bit stiff. So this update is a lot better. So let's move into the kind of functionality. As you can see, it's pretty much, uh, if you're an Android, uh, iOS user for, uh, Todoist, uh, it's pretty much the same experience. You get uh, all the kind of same folders, the opportunities. So you've got your inbox today, next day, next seven days, your projects, your labels, your filters. That's obviously premium down here. Um, but what I love about this kind of functionality, obviously uh, you've got things like better animations. I mean, just simply going into your profile um, and it's scrolling up and being able to show you this is a really neat feature. But what I love about the menu specifically is when you touch the menu, it just breaks it up really, really nicely uh, without kind of like ruining your experience and kind of just going through these. It looks great, uh, really accessible. I love that, that's fantastic. Um, the next kind of thing I like is the profile. I've, I've just mentioned it, but it's they've just done a solid job at kind of keeping the consistency of it on this, uh, which is lovely. And the next thing is animations. Like they look, tons better than they do on iOS. Um, they've done a fantastic job. I mean, obviously the kind of functionality and material design allows you to go kind of deeper with the amount of animations, but if I simply tap here, it, it obviously gestures um, that I'm uh, aware that it, my finger's here. So if you can see that, it, it obviously bounces off my finger there. Um, the kind of swipe across to do it, and then obviously schedule for later is fantastic. Uh, and then bringing it and um, and I think splitting it apart, but anyway, sorry, that doesn't work. <laughs> um, next thing on the kind of board for this is um, opening a new, um, so basically what they have is on Todoist is a feature called intelligent input. So if I said, uh, uh, go, uh, okay, buy cheese tomorrow at ooh, 1 p.m. As you can see here, it's detected tomorrow at 1 p.m. Buy cheese as a task. And what it will do is I simply tap that and it will buy it will add buy cheese tomorrow at 1 p.m. I'm not really gonna buy cheese, so I'm gonna tick it off. Um, and that's great. Um, that looks really great. And I think they slightly do a better job of it. So if I type in buy cheese, I can demo it. Um, what they do a better job of is, um, as you can see on uh, iOS, it's a little different, but on here you get the actual, um, the kind of calendar icon as well, that's kind of cute. Um, anyway, what you can do if you want to expand it is you can open this up and you can go a bit deeper into it. And this is a, feels a lot more material designy um, than the previous one. So if you kind of want that extra feel or experience, then go uh, just when you're intelligent inputting something, um, simply tap that and then make sure you go up to this top hand button and open it up, it's fantastic. So that kind of brings me on to the kind of uh, experience you get on this. I really love this app and it's a great app. I give this a solid nine out of 10. Um, but what I wanna highlight is some, some maybe a few problems with it. Um, and I found the kind of colors confusing. So when I go into this, uh, obviously I kind of get a white screen and a white topping. I think that needs to change. I think it needs to be red here or whatever theme you've got. And I'll explain themes if I can in a sec. 
uh, and the coloring at the top needs to be different. Uh, it kind of weirds me out. And then going into this is, is like, oh, wow, that's weird. Um, so the kind of color differentiation needs to be a bit more, bit more kind of consistent. Um, so that's only one thing. And then obviously, um, when I'm on the kind of app, uh, app homepage areas, when I'm on my, when I'm just kind of scrolling through and I'm like, oh, to do it, I think that this should be red and the white uh, TD. I think that would look a ton better. Uh, but anyway, that's only small features, uh, only a small things to kind of touch on. But overall, I'd give this app a solid 9 out of 10. Uh, it does everything really well. It makes the experience really fun. I'm not an Android user. I'm an iOS user. But Jesus, I should come back to it because this is fantastic. Um, anyway, it goes a lot deeper. Uh, it kind of really does really take the experience of iPhone and bring it over to here. And just before I leave, I just wanted to show you, obviously, you've got themes. Um, and they look great, especially on this um, device. Uh, that looks solid, it's, that looks fantastic, it looks really fun and playful. So overall, I just wanna say that Todoist for Android is a great app. If you haven't got it just yet, uh, download it and get going with it because it's a fantastic service. It's a fantastic app. It makes productivity a bit more playful, a bit more fun. And uh, yeah, so this was just a breakdown. Um, if you haven't uh, subscribed to me yet, please do subscribe. Uh, I don't know where it'll be. It might be down here, it might be over here. Um, if not, go to my channel and pop a subscription. Let me know if you want me to cover anything more with uh, Todoist for Android, and I definitely will. So uh, as per usual, everyone, make sure to have a great week and keep productive. This was the Android review for Todoist. I'll see you soon, guys. Thank you.